Hey everyone! For math today, we are going to start off by reviewing the calendar. And you all might remember Miss Russell reviewed the calendar with you and went over the calendar with you last week. So we're going to be doing this every single day during math time. So first, I'm going to show you our calendar. We are in the month of August. Can everyone say August? August. Very good. Now I have a really fun song that I do um, to remember the months of the year. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay. And you got to stand up. So everybody stand up and I'm going to stand up. You might not be able to see me very good, but I'm going to stand up. Okay. I'm going to scoot it back. We're going to do a little dance with this too. Okay. So our first month of the year is January and then we're going to go through all of the months. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then you sit right down. Okay, so we're gonna be practicing that song. That just helps us remember our months. So we're in the month of August. So this is our month, August. Now, let's see what day we're on. I crossed off all of the days up until our day. So let's look a little closer. Today is Monday, August the 17th. Okay, Monday, August the 17th. Now, let's count the days that we've had in August so far. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So today is Monday, August the 17th. Now, Monday is our day of the week. So that's what day of the week it is. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. And tomorrow will be Tuesday. So I have another song for us to remember the days of the week. Okay, and it goes like this. You don't have to stand up for this one, but um, what you're going to do is you're going to need your fingers because you're going to snap. Everyone practice snapping with me. Snap. Good job. If you can't snap, you can make this noise with your tongue. Okay, and this is how it goes. It goes days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. And I'll post these videos so you and your families can watch um, those songs to help you remember the days of the week. So today is Monday, August the 17th. Now we have some special days in August. Last week on the 13th, that was Sophia's birthday from Miss Russell's class. Her birthday was on the 13th. Coming up this week, on Wednesday, we have Carolina's birthday on the 19th. And then the next week, on Tuesday the 25th, we have Jada's birthday. So we have some really exciting special days coming up in August. Now, let's count how many days are in August all together. So today we're on the 17th. Let's count how many days there are total. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 29, 30, 31. So there are 31 days in August, in our month of August. So that's just a little bit of a review of our calendar. Next for math, I am going to introduce you all to something and it's really exciting. This is called the counting jar. Can you all say counting jar? Very good. So look, this is our jar, it's kind of big. This is our counting jar, okay? So, I'm going to hold up the counting jar, and I want you all to notice, or just tell me, or tell someone that's with you at your house, what you notice about the counting jar. So, I'm going to take the lid off. What do you see in this counting jar? 
look really hard. There's cubes in there. Remember we talked about cubes last week. So there are some cubes. Now, how, how can we figure out how many cubes are in here? How, how will we know how many cubes are in there? We can count them. That's right. So we are going to be counting a lot this year. We're, we've been counting words in our sentences, letters in our names, and we are going to count pretty much every day in kindergarten. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna take these cubes out and we are gonna count how many are in here. Okay, so I want you all to count with me as I pull these cubes out. Okay. One, two, three. There were three cubes in there. Now, some of you might think that that was really easy and you can see there are three cubes. Look, you can see that they're in here. We could have said one, two, three, but to be sure we pulled them out and we did this. We said one, two, three. Look, now there's no, there's nothing else in our counting jar. Okay. So now I'm going to put some more things in our, in our counting jar. Okay, now, I want you all to look now. What do you notice about the counting jar now? Let me turn it. What do you notice about our counting jar now? Are there more cubes in here or less? So did I add cubes or did I take some away? Tell someone that you're with. Did I put more cubes in here or did I take cubes away? I put more in here. Now, how can we figure out how many are in here now? Because you all didn't see how many I put in. We can count them, very good. Okay, so let's let's pull them out, let's count them. Ready, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Now look, there's nothing else in there. So how many things were in our counting jar that time? Seven, there were seven cubes. So we are going to be using our counting jar and we're gonna be counting lots of different things in our counting jar. And we're gonna be using the counting jar all year long. Okay, so now, um, I'm going to put something else in the, cube, in the counting jar. Not cubes, I'm gonna put something else in there, okay? Now I want you to see if you all can figure out how we're gonna count these objects. Okay. okay, I want you to look at my counting jar now. What do you see in here? What's in our counting jar now? They're markers, okay? Now, for cubes, we just pulled them out and counted them. How will we figure out how many markers there are? Right, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna count, okay? So let's pull them out and let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So there were five markers. Now, there were seven cubes, and then now, then there were five markers. So let's think about that. Were there more markers or more cubes? There were seven, so I'm gonna hold my fingers, there were seven cubes. So look, one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven cubes. Now, there were five markers. One, two, three, four, five. So which was more? The markers or the cubes? The cubes, right? The cubes had seven. So there were two more cubes than markers. This is how many markers I had. This is how many cubes. So there were two more. Okay guys, we're gonna keep working on our counting jar and um, I'll see you guys later.